All right, so I'm a little happier now. She's moved him up out of the out of the hole she had him in a while ago. Hi, little man. How are you? He's still not sure about me, but that's okay. Hi. Did you eat, eat good? He ate good, good for me. Excuse me, good for me last uh, mm. or a while ago, whenever I uh, got him on the teat. So. He should be uh, good and full, and he should be nice and frisky now. Huh, little man? You gonna be frisky for us? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I brought a jug back here. I'm gonna try and milk her to give her some relief. Hi, sweetheart. You have a beautiful baby boy. I'll see if she'll let me. If she doesn't, it's not that bad, or uh, not that big of a deal. Um, oh, don't lick me, lick your baby. I would like to get some of this uh, liquid gold out of her, the uh, colostrum, which is the baby's first milk, and uh, I'm going to see if she's going to let me do it. I brought some, I brought a bag with some wet rags and a dry towel, and an old pickle jar with a lid on it. So I'm hoping she's going to stand still for me. She may not, I don't know. If she thinks it's the baby nursing, she won't uh, won't move. So we're gonna give this a whirl. Let's see how it goes here. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna nurse? Huh? Are you gonna show me how good you are? Um, I didn't get to show you how big her udder got after I showed you the update the other day, but yeah. look at that sucker. So full. Oh my goodness. So anyway. He's doing good. She's up moving him, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try and film it, but I don't know if I can do it one-handed. We'll see. All right. I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so I've got her kind of milked, um, relieved some of the pressure she had. She was so tight, the poor darling. I didn't milk her all the way out. I just uh, relieved some of the pressure. Um, the calf obviously cannot drink that much milk. Um, he's already had his fill. He looks pretty full. He nursed really good for me a while ago. Uh, once I got him on the teat, he got going and just uh, took off. And he's happy now. And uh, look at this. This is a gallon jar. And look at all that liquid gold. Let me tell you what. Literally, she was just free flowing took me two minutes to get that full. Not even. Ugh. She gives so much milk. So in 10 days, um, I can start saving the milk for us and I won't uh, need to get it from my neighbor anymore. He actually has been waiting on me, or waiting on Star, not me, to give us a calf so that he can stop milking and he will come and get milk from me now. So, anyway, uh, it's falling on evening now. It's getting cooler, although I'm sweating up a storm. The humidity today, yuck. Anyway, uh, that's not what we're talking about. Um, super proud of my, uh, my rock star, Miss Star, and she loves her babies. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, hopefully she's got him up closer to the lean-to. I'm going to make him up a stall in the lean-to. And uh, we are going to start the milking routine uh, with Miss Star. Um, I probably won't, actually I probably won't start the milking routine for oh, a couple days. I usually like to give her a couple of days. But I will come out and I'll just relieve some of the pressure but after that we get into a routine um, I lock the calf up at night milk her in the morning and the calf gets to stay with her all day long uh, usually once the calf gets big enough what I will do is I will um, milk half I'll take half and the baby will get half so her udder will not stay that size um, for a very long 
because for the simple fact I don't need that much milk and the baby doesn't need that much milk so I slow her down to where um, I take a gallon and the baby takes whatever's left it's usually not quite a gallon because really the calf doesn't need that much but uh, she sees the dog he's over here he came with me she's not not too happy that he's here but uh, anyhow so I just got some pressure off of her udder and we're gonna leave them alone for the night I know he's eaten well and he's he's uh, curled up sleeping now let me know what you guys think I should name him the girls haven't uh, given me ideas yet but um, I'm sure they will uh, let me know and then I will uh, I'll let you know uh, what we end up naming him and I'll kind of take you through the the process of uh, raising a calf she'll be uh, we'll milk her for about 10 months uh, she was supposed to have a calf in February so it's now August 9th I think yeah I'm pretty sure it's August 9th anyway it's August 9th and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be milking in the winters again not my favorite time to milk okay I'm gonna stop rambling and get off here and I will see you guys later